We've had 102 women through the Maiden program, sailing on Maiden and learning these skills, and now they get to put them into practice. Sailing, quite rightly, has a reputation for being sexist, but also it's very white. So, instead of looking in our normal small pool of sailors, we have searched the globe for all the young women who will be sailing on the boat. So we now are the most ethnically diverse crew to ever sail around the world, male or female. It's all part of our final mission as we race around the world for Maiden's final time. My name is Tracy Edwards and I'm the founder and manager of The Maiden Factor. We uh, were the first all-female crew to race around the world and that was 33 years ago, 1989-90 Whitbread Around the World race. We were all expected to die while we were trying to race around the world. And I found her in 2014 rotting in the Seychelles and thought, I, I need to go and rescue my girl. Uh, so we rescued her, uh, brought her back to the UK, restored her to her beautiful former glory. And we spent the past five years sailing around the world, raising funds and awareness for girls' education. We have thousands of girls on the boat. It is total chaos, I cannot tell you, but it is wonderful and happy chaos. And we have thousands of children's handprints on Spinnaker. And we've also really started to understand that young women are really at the forefront of climate activism we can give them the tools to make the changes that they want to make. Sustainability is almost a natural part of what we do because, you know, we believe girls are the future. We love collaboration. Collaboration is what women are good at. Obviously working with sea keepers on the seabed logger, which we are so excited about. We feel like a tiny cog in a huge organized collection of data, which is so important. Seabed 2030 is one of our flagship citizen science programs. So we um, install a data logger on board their boats and they record depth measurements as they travel. The logger itself is a, a, a very, very small device and it works with your normal navigation systems to plug and play, plug it in, forget about it. When you get back to port, you download the information that's recorded on the small memory stick and upload it and then we do the rest. Maiden is actually doing a world tour at the moment, so it's a perfect vessel for us to actually engage with. They've taken the seabed logger on board, so she's mapping the ocean floor as she travels. Quite a unique uh, vessel going in and out of ports all over the world. We definitely need vessels like that to work with us. Seabed 2030 is part of the United Nations Ocean Decade flagship program. It's exactly the type of initiative we want to engage with, and we know that anyone who works with us and gets involved with this is actually contributing to real research that will have an impact in the future. You know, racing, we don't have time to stop and collect water, but we can collect this data, you know, we can take these measurements. So we've already collected 14,000 miles worth of, uh, of data, and we will be collecting another 27,000 to 33,000 nautical miles as we go around the world. And I feel that we will have done something really important.